Gardens. This is Randy. Can I help you? Hey, Randy. Uh, I'm a tenant here, and I needed to let you know that um, I've signed up with the program to let some Somalian refugees live here on my property, on my trailer property. Which? Who, 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 wait, wait, hang on. Who am I talking to? Uh, this is Roy. Roy. Yep. Yep, and it, it's just, uh, you know, they're just going to be here for a year or so. It's just a program, and the government gives me tax credits or Who are you something. trying to get a hold of? This is Gardens. Yeah, yeah, I live here in Gardens. I'm drawing a blank. I'm so, Roy. Roy, last name? Uh, Zerbel. Zerbel? Yeah, Zerbel. It's what lot number are you on? Uh, the lot? Um, I, 41? 41? Yep. But yeah, it's not a big deal. I just needed to let you know they're not going to take up much space. Well, but, yeah, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Well, no, it's not that uh, big of a deal. Really? Like, they're actually going to sleep under the crawl space, like underneath the well, trailer. That, well, that's, that's, that's good, but that, that's not going to work. It's an idea my friend Gloria had. And Gloria. Yeah, Gloria. You know Gloria? She leaves voicemails. No. You know, no, no, th this is, n this is not going to work. Oh, well, I've already signed up for it. The government's already approved the paperwork. Well, th that's all right. The government can do whatever they want, but I'm not approving it. It's just a family of you four. A family of four. You can't sublet. You can't sublet. No, I'm not subletting. I, I don't get any, um, th they don't pay me any money for this. They don't have any money. They're, they're Somalians. I don't even have you listed as living here. Yeah, I wouldn't be in the computer. I, I just sublet. Sublet from who? Uh, well, I don't. Uh, I'm Jerry. Jerry, who? Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? I, I paid well, this ain't this ain't this is can't be working. All right, no, it's it, not acceptable. Okay. No, I'm definitely doing it. I've already signed up. No, 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 no. This is private property. You just definitely can't do it. Well, they're not even going to take up like yard space. I don't care. No, 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 sir. This is whoever you sublet. You have them call me. This is unacceptable. They're sleeping under the trailer. You're not I even don't gonna... care where they sleep. You won't even they know. Can sleep out on the street. They're not sleeping here. Oh, no, don't be a dick. Come on, they're human beings. I don't care. This is my park. You don't care that they're human this is private beings. Private property. Okay, sir. Yeah, but come on, it, it's all I God's don't even property. Know you. I don't even know who you are. I, I told you don't even know who you, you. You're not on our list. It doesn't. You're not a resident here. It doesn't. I live under the radar. You know, I'm like off the books, under the table. It, it, not anymore. Like, well, I, if, I still am. If you're, you're you, saying you, you don't, even, I tell you what, you come to the office and we'll talk face to face. Okay. Okay. You don't have to be a dick, though. I mean, these, these are human. Hey, I'm not. I'm. Not, I don't know, even know who you are. Come to the office face to face, and we'll talk about this. Well, maybe I All don't right? want to because of your attitude. Because well, I mean, whatever. I've already okay. said. Like, what are you going to defy the government? Because the government says yeah, I can do yeah, this. Yeah, I would. Hey, I'm done with this conversation. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Well, I'm not. You're listening to the Stump Hall Show. Boys and fellas on your radio. Since died is working right next door, please don't give them snake eyes anymore. Chats are working. On What's up, everybody? You're listening to the Snowplow Show, but you already know that because you just heard Vista Blues sing about it. Durr. I'm your host, Brad, today, filling in for Roy. Today's episode is brought to you by Matt Chu, Christine, Cody No Name, ZTK, and Tokius Pocus. All five of those people support us on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Sorry, everybody, that I missed doing a show last week. I kind of put it off until the last minute, and then I got sick. I'm all stuffed up and coughing and sneezing. It turns out it's because of karma, because uh, I messed with that crazy guy telling him about the nightmare machine. That was just karma getting me back. I'm feeling better today, though, so let's try and make some phone calls and see what happens. Good afternoon, Buckingham Square. This is Sharon. How can I help you? Hey, Sharon. I'm a tenant here at Buckingham Square. Deep in the deserts of Roy, New Mexico, lives a man with an obsession, a tenant from hell, endlessly dialing, 
and he always asks the same question. Will it flush? Today I'm doing requests as I usually do, but I decided to go look at the Carding voicemail, which I haven't done in a while. Well, I mean, I haven't done that in about a week. I think I'm not that far behind. I have been keeping an eye on it for Cardings, sort of, mostly, trying to anyway. But I got this awesome message from this lady and she called three times. The other two were hangups, but all three of them were from unknown numbers. So I can't call her back, but it's such a good message. I'm gonna play it right now. Hi, Roy, this is Kay. The next time you leave a note on my car, I'm going to have the common decency to knock to your door. Don't leave a fucking note on my motherfucking car no motherfucking more. You don't know what the fuck me and that girl was talking about. It was something important, you motherfucker. You could have went the fuck around like the other car did. Now leave another note on my fucking car. You're going to see the common decencies of me. I think it cut, cut off right there. I just heard a touch tone. I think... Because there was uh, five or six seconds of silence. But damn it, she left that for me on Thursday. And there is no way to call her back. That kind of sucks. She would be fun. I don't, what's she even talking about? She's going to have the common decency to come to my door? I could have waited and gone the fuck around. What was she talking about? And what did the notes say? But we also have some other ones here. Which are not all necessarily um, carding notes. Well, it looks like this one is. Hi, Roy. I got a note on my car that you dinged it. I was just hoping you could give me a call back. My phone number is 405. Thanks. Bye. So she didn't give me a name or anything. Let's see if she picks up. Hi, this is Andrea. Leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Well, darn. Looks like her name's Andrea, but she's not picking up. It did four rings and went to voicemail. And I just tried her a few more times. She's not picking up. So I guess I'll hold on to that one for later. This is like a bonus round of carding calls. Oh, hi, Roy. It's Cynthia calling again, uh, regarding the key fob. Uh, text me or email me or call me back. Um, I'd love to know if we have the, uh, if we if you found the lost key fob that we are looking for. Oh, okay. um, thank you. Uh, 416 Okay, we got a Canadian lady here who lost her key fob, and apparently I found it. This number also works as the prank line, by the way. For the past few years, the prank line has been a, uh, oh man, I don't even remember. Oh yeah, 508 phone number. But I changed that when I set up a new carding number. So the general prank line to send people to now is 913-721-6670. I have to change that every year for Dean Timber. So people don't Google the number and find that. And then they leave a screaming message at me. I just called the police on your little joke, Roy. Hello? Oh, Cynthia. Hi, Roy. Oh, hey. I found it. What? <laughs> we did find the missing um, key. Oh, yeah. I put it back oh. where I found it. I just borrowed it. Oh. I, I borrowed your key fob, and I made a, a 3D print of it, like a replica. <laughs> and I used my Flipper Zero to uh, program it. So it's uh, oh exactly the same. as. So I have a copy of your key fob. Okay, well, if we ever need it, I'll let you know. Yeah, I could be like Where your you backup. Live? I think your number was way out west or something. Oh, it was in Kansas. You're in Kansas, and well, I live in Canada. Oh, oh, I know. No, I live in Canada, too. What? Uh, no, I just, I used to live in Kansas, and I moved to Canada. Where? Um, well, I, I'd rather not say, because uh, I'm sort of on the run. Okay. But that, that's what we do in America when... You know, we break the law, we run run away to Canada. <laughs> Just say east or west. I'm in eastern Canada. I'm in Ontario. Oh, yeah. No, I'm I'm in Ontario. I'll tell you the province. Oh, okay. That's fair. You're probably <laughs> down the street from me. Who knows? Yeah, That's what, funny. So you found your key fob? Yeah, it was in the car. Oh, yeah. So you found a different key. Oh, no, I was in your car. You put it in the car? No, I was in your car. I was... I was just in your car rooting around in there. I okay. Was, I was sitting in the back seat and I was smoking marijuana. And <laughs> like, if you lose Roy, something in your car. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just saying, if you lose something in your car, it's best to sit in the back seat and smoke a joint and just kind of, you'll find things that you didn't know were in your car. Like stuff. And where did you, where did you find the key and where did you put the key? Oh, um, I don't remember where I put it because I, I took it home. 
and I made a, a replica of it. Okay. Except mine's mine's red. I used uh, red filament. Wow. It looks cool. And home being in Canada, not in New York. Oh yeah, no, New York. What? Kansas, lady. <laughs> The whole the whole United States is not New York, okay? Oh, I didn't know that. It's not divided into New York and Los Angeles. Now, are you on an iPhone? Did you uh, uh, face call, time call me? Or are you paying oh, long I, distance charge? Oh, I don't pay for it, but I, I'm on an Android. Why? Did you want to face, oh, okay. FaceTime? You're paying, probably. Mm. Well, I'm not paying. If, you're, if your number isn't the, it's a U.S. number, unless you have a U.S. Canada plan, you're paying big bucks. Oh, I do. I have a plan. Okay. I wouldn't live out well, here without a, a Canada plan. No. Interesting. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, mystery solved. Yeah, I'm sorry I hotboxed in your car. <laughs> but hopefully... Uh, Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, anytime. Okay. Bye, I'll, Roy. Goodbye. Bye. Call me if you ever need a copy of your key fob. I don't know what that was about. Like, what could that have possibly been about? There's another message from her that we could listen to that might clear things up. Uh, it's a minute-long message. Hi, Roy. My name is Cynthia. And you may have the key fob that I am madly looking for. Uh, my phone number is... Madly looking for? <laughs> ...in Canada. It's an iPhone. It's a 4 one Wow, she really likes to point out that she has an iPhone. Six, three. I'm so impressed, lady. Five. And if that is, if there's any charge, I'd be either happy to pay for that, or you can just um, send me uh, an email at c, for Cynthia, dot at gmail.com. I am so hoping uh, that you are here to save the day. Thank you so much. I hope oh, to sure. hear from you. Thank you. Anytime, Bye. Cynthia. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on with this one. That's a weird message. And why was she okay with me getting in her car? And uh, I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Hi, Roy. This is Caroline. You left a note on my car. Uh, I was parked by the oh, the Goodwill over to Defiant. You dinged my car. Yeah, I did. Uh, if you want to call me back, you can. It's 419. We got an Ohio one here, everybody. It's nice I'm getting these calls from the ladies. That's something I didn't get a lot of during Ding Timber this year. It was all uh, male listeners just trying to fool me. At least when it's a lady, I'm a little bit less suspicious of her. Two is unavailable. Please leave a message after the tone. So I've called Carolyn several times now, and she's not picking up. So moving on, we got this one. Hi, Roy. Except I can't call this one because it's from an unknown number. Uh, I got this note on my car here. Also sounds fake as fuck. Uh, I, I, it's got this... Oh, listen to you. This listen to you. You're such a grown-up. You sound so grown-up in this call. I got a prank call or something, but... Uh, you... I am so I, convinced. Call me back. I can't... I don't know. You said something on this note about... M m putting Mexican jumping beans in my wheel well. And yeah, I don't know yeah. what the fuck you know what? is about. If there was a number on this one, I wouldn't call it. I would park this as fake as fuck 2023. So next year when you try this again, I'll know for sure. Your call is now being forwarded. Please hold. So let's move on to the prank call request email directory. Here's a number from Anime Girl. She wants me to prank Jane Doe. And there's no notes or anything. She just wants me to do a phone number change. How am I going to do a phone number change on her if her name's Jane Doe? Because that's not her name, is it? Hello. Listen here, Jane. We're going to change your phone number right now. Uh, this is Gary with at and I'm sorry? We're changing your phone number. That's 2703. Uh, it's expired. No, oh, yeah, we are. We're, no, we're changing it right now. I'm in the change order screen on your account. Why? Uh, because your number expired and somebody else wants to use it for their business. I don't have an AT&T. Ma'am. All numbers are owned by AT&T. <laughs> you're just going to call me and tell me you're about to take my phone number. Yes, because like, we're not your carrier, so I can be as rude as I want. 
and we'll just take your number. And then you, you can you can suck a bag of dicks and you can have the phone number, but I don't understand why. Because another company gave me this phone number. Okay, well, <laughs> well, guess who gave that other company the number? We did because we're AT and T. We own all the numbers. We're Ma freaking Bell. No fucking way. Are yeah. you? Yeah, yeah, we I are. I need to keep listen. Listen here, I need lady. To keep this listen here. You just listen. said you just said you don't care. You know what, motherfucker? Why? Hey, we're changing this number right now. Uh, do you want any specific area code for your new area code, or I'll just give you one in the same area code, I guess. He said he could talk to me however the fuck he wants to. He's AT and T. Ma'am, ma'am, you tell that husband of yours yeah. just to shut the fuck up, please. Well, I'll f- come over and beat your fucking matter of fact, well, I'll just call some of my fucking homeboys come pay you a visit, motherfucker. Oh, I'd There's like so to see you try. People. I'll take them all out. There's I know Taekwondo. I know, I'm from Little Rock. I know Taekwondo, listen, motherfucker. Don't I don't give a fuck. Listen, you know, nigga. I need this number because I'm waiting for a very important phone call. Uh, Well, I'm getting ready to change it. It might work for the next 10 or 15 minutes. But after okay, that... Well, can I, yeah. Can you wait 10 or 15 minutes so I can just forward a new... Well, fuck, I don't have a new number to give anybody. I'm trying to what give it to heck? you. I'm trying to give it to you, and you guys are just giving me a bunch of shit. All right, what's the number? All right, the phone number, the new one, is area code 416. I'm not even Two. living in 416. I live in Texarkana. I know. It doesn't matter anymore. Area codes are <laughs> arbitrary. You know, they're, this one's in Canada. What the fuck? What's the number? Four one six, two three nine. Hey, you tell two three nine. Tell that man to shut the fuck up, please. Won't you shut the fuck up, bitch? You better let your ass in front of me. Let me find my fucking screen record. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, sir. What? Listen. Okay, what's the new number? Uh well, I don't want to tell you now because you know that man in the background. He's pissing me off. And I don't. He's think not I sh- here. Just act like he's not here. This is my phone. Okay. okay well, I bought this phone. Well, fair since, and square. Since he's not there, can we just agree that uh, he's a pussy? Sure. Oh man, he is such a pussy, isn't he? Okay. Uh, Eric. Okay. So- Eric, you don't beat your fucking ass. Bitch. Oh, I you don't hear him. I thought he wasn't there. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what's the number? I could beat his ass easy. That's why he has to bring friends. Uh, it's four one six, two three two three nine. He said he can beat your ass easy because you had to bring friends. Motherfucker, I won't be asked by myself. Two three nine what? Six eight. How do I get a job like you? Uh, I don't know. We'll apply at AT and T. You're fucking full of shit. What are you talking about? Why would Why would you say that? Well, listen, whoever gets this phone number, <laughs> they're going to be mad at you, buddy. No, they won't, because uh, I'm just a customer yeah. service representative, and I'm probably not, you, even, you, not even with their carrier. So You're fu- probably not even supposed to be calling me right now. What's my phone number? What, the one I just called, the 2703? Yeah. That's not your number anymore, though. Like, you know, get get, get that number out of your head. That's, that's Canadian. You're going to have a Canadian number what? now. So, what department do you work in? Uh, I'm in the comptroller's office. In the what? The comptroller's office here with AT and T. The comptroller's. Yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe, maybe you should just not worry about it, okay? Hey, maybe you should fuck off. I bet you're gay. That's what it is. You ain't never had no pussy in your life. What's wrong with being gay? It's 2023. <laughs> I can be as gay as I want. Good. Well, Good. well get your gay ass off my off phone, phone, bitch. <laughs> Go suck some dick and get off the phone, bitch. As a straight person, I'm very offended. And why did she believe any of that? She shouldn't have believed any of that. I didn't think anything was going to work because her name is Jane Doe and her name is not Jane Doe. That's a lie, anime girl. She tricked you and said her name was Jane Doe. But it worked anyway. I didn't even look up her carrier. I just said AT&T. Oh, and that number was actually sent to me, um, I think, 10 minutes ago. I already deleted it, but I'm pretty sure it had just come in. Along with this other one here, which I can't get to pick up. She said this lady was a real bitch to my coworker, but she wouldn't answer the phone. So let's do a different anime girl phone number. She wants me to call Christopher and, of course, change his phone number. The prank premise is dude sounds like he has a stick up his ass. Hello? 
Hi, Christopher. Who's this? Uh, this is Verizon with AT and T. Has calling to let you know we're changing your phone number. No, you're not. Oh yeah, we have to right now. This one five one seven. Yeah, you're not changing my phone number. Oh yes, I am. I'm on the change order screen right now on your account. And yeah, you're not changing shit. Oh no, we have to change it. I'm sorry, it's expired, and another business wants it. No. That's so too fucking bad for them. You ain't changing my number. Changing as in uh, within the next 15 minutes. I'm going to su- no. submit the order. And no. your, your number will change to a brand new phone number. No. And this 1517 is going to say this number has been disconnected d- due to non-payment. No. no, it's not. What do you mean, no, it's not? I'm the phone company. I know what's going to happen. You're not the fucking phone company. Yes, I am. phone company can't change a number that's been allocated. Uh, I don't think you know what you're talking about. That phone number belongs to us. I do, because us. I work for the federal government and I do telecommunications, and you can't fucking change a goddamn phone number. Yeah, this, it, it sounds like, like you're saying that you don't work for the phone company, and I'm telling it you, It sounds like your I work gonna... in the telecom industry, and you can't change a fucking thing. So I'm going to hang up the goddamn phone. There ain't a fucking thing you're going to do. About you know what? If I ever see you, I'm going to kiss you on the mouth. <laughs> what? Well, he sounded like he knew what he was talking about. I think he was uh, right. And I was wrong. I'm actually not changing his phone number. He wins that call. But Anime Girl was right. He does sound like he has a stick up his ass. He's all, look at me, look at me. I work for the federal government. The next Anime Girl phone number on the list is someone named Jennifer. And Anime Girl wants me to tell her to stop winking her butthole by the church. Hello. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, is this Jennifer? No. Oh, well, can you pass along a message to Jennifer? This, you got the wrong number. Bullshit, I do. I know this is Jennifer's phone. This is Roger from the church. You talk like that and you go to church? Yeah, there's nothing in the Bible about the bullshit word. Oh, well, it says you're calling from Walgreens. Well, guess what? I am but I am calling on behalf of the church. Look, Jennifer, can you just stop winking your butthole when you walk by the church? Because we're getting real tired of that. You need to quit hitting the stuff at the Walgreens, dude. Hitting what stuff? Whatever your own. I'm not on anything. You're the one that's on something going by the church and winking your butthole. What? You're just foul. I'm a butthole? I said you're foul. Oh, no, you're the one that's foul because you keep walking by our church and winking your butthole at people, and you need to stop doing that, okay? Just please don't do you're that anymore. You're calling from Walgreens. Right, that's where I work. Do you I don't, own Walgreens? Look, buddy, do I, don't, I don't work at the church. I am just calling from work right now, okay? Yeah, you better... Appreciate and respect your job, buddy. Listen here, motherfucker. Quit, you better stop me. winking your butthole at us every time you go by the church. You're harassing me. No, this is one From single phone Walgreens. call. This is a single You're phone call. Me, and that's against the law, little boy. I know the law. You better study it. You call me cussing me, that's called harassing telecommunications. Bullshit, you can't it is. Go to jail. Oh, bullshit, you I'll can't go to go jail. To jail. I'm not going. Okay. I'm not going to jail for you or for nobody. For calling and cussing somebody out, look up harassing telecommunications. Okay, here let me look, look up how. Up. Google let, it. Let me look up how many people Google have gone it. to jail for cursing over the phone. I've bonded someone out for uh, cussing I, over the phone. I just looked it up. Uh, the number is zero. I used zero to people. Be in a bonding business. I bonded someone out for that. The bonding business. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Bonding. Jennifer, Fail bond. Jennifer, if you just stop winking your butthole at, at people at the church, that that's all we need. Fail bond financing. Yeah, yeah, that's a financing you company. You need to get the number. What number? What was that at the end? I didn't hear. Let me replay that. You might need to get the number. Oh, you might need to get the number. I agree, anime girl. What the hell? That's not Jennifer's number. You made me accuse an innocent lady of winking her butthole. Every time she walks by the church. And now she's going to be calling up Walgreens trying to get me in trouble there. So yay for that one. I enjoyed that even though it was the wrong number. 
I went back all the way to February just looking at Anime Girl phone numbers. A lot of them didn't answer. Uh, a few of them had been changed or were disconnected. But I'm doing them, Anime Girl. I'm doing them. Thanks for sending in all the numbers. Thanks for sending them into the other shows, too. Anime Girl seems to have an unlimited supply of phone numbers to send into all the prank call hosts. Looks like I have some voicemails here. Hi, um, can you give me a call back, please, at this number? 313 Bye. Yeah, right. You need to tell me who you are or what it's about. I hang up. There's another one from her and her husband hanging out in the background. These are from three days ago, so maybe they're from the hobo sode that I did last week. Oh, here's a long one. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm calling you again. Oh, yeah, I remember Sandra. I don't remember what I said to her, though. We've been trying to call you for a few days now. And you called here and accusing me of doing something that I did not do. Butthole winky? I don't even know who you are, where you live. I believe you said you lived on Radnor. Oh, so you do know where I live. You have your cell phone. So since you initiated this conversation, I'm asking that you please be man enough (laughs) and return one of our phone calls so we can get to the bottom of this. And um, I probably will, if we don't hear back from you, contact the police. Oh, shit. So please be man enough. Call one of us back. I'm not going to call now. You're getting the police involved. What, do you just want proof that I'm calling you over and over and over? So you're going to try and get me to call you more? Yeah, right. My number is 313 I don't like to or appreciate being accused of something that I absolutely did not do. What was it? So kindly call back. Tell me what Thank it was. You. Oh, kindly call back after you're making police threats at me. Saunders not being very kind. Here's another voicemail. Hi, this is Randy. You called me earlier today uh, looking for Sandra. I'm with her oh, now. Oh, shit. I'd like to speak to you to resolve this. They just will not give up. This is five days ago. Understanding. Um, if you can, call us back. We'll be up later after, uh, this evening. Okay. If not, we'd like to get to, uh, uh, with you tomorrow with the police. <laughs> so that they can look at the listeners what did i say to sandra this may have been last week's snowplow show or i mean i guess it'd be two weeks ago i think it's probably going to be the hobo so though video that you have and look at us and uh, com- uh, confirm i must have said i had a doorbell camera that neither one of us either know you or have been to your location is she the one where i'm like could you pass along a message and made her pass along a crazy Mess it. I don't know if that was it. So uh, I'm too lazy like to go to check. Like to resolve this as soon as possible. Please give us a call. No, I'm not calling you back. This sounds like a trick. Oh shit! Here's a voicemail from July 25th of this year. Yes. Hi. Uh, you left a message uh, last night around seven o'clock at my house, and it, it, it's very confusing. And I don't know <laughs> who Roy Gearbell is. Um. Yeah. But it was for Kathleen, and I'm not sure. Um, oh, anyways. <laughs> okay. I may have played that one since it's so old. I just went through a few email folders looking for voicemails that have been left for me. Man, that one was so long ago that I could just prank him again at this point, and he wouldn't even remember me. But no, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, guess what, everybody? I'm ending the show now and playing some voicemails. I've tried to call some other people, but I'm not having any luck, and it's getting kind of late, so I'm just going to end it so I can actually get a show release today. Brad! Yeah. Sorry, I was yelling at my friend. Oh, it's um, okay. It's Brown Teresa. It's been a while. Hey, you Brown haven't played Teresa. any of my voicemails lately, but also, you haven't really had new shows. So. I know. Boo! I know, Damn. and by the way, that was an abrupt ending to today's prank call segment. I realize that now. I think I thought I had more material in that segment before I edited it, and then I cut a bunch of stuff out, and it's just kind of short. This is a short show today, so I'm going to make the uh, voicemail short, too, everybody. Tomatoes, Brad. 
that. Get on it. Ever yeah. since you got off probation, you've kind of been slacking. So I know. stop smoking weed and get on the show. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Don't do that again. I'm going to try and do another show this week, though, to make up for it, but also to make up for last week when I didn't do a show at all without explanation. I'm such a flake. Hey, Brad, this is I Don't Regret Not Jumping. Hey. I saw this video today called uh, What Is He Hiding Under There by Mr. Ballin, and I think it's about your friend who had that big tunnel complex under his house. Oh. And uh, and it was an interesting story that and it's a lot of details I hadn't heard before. So I think you'll like that. And okay. That's Mr. Ballin, B A L L E N. <laughs> okay. And uh, it's a YouTube video. All right. I'm going to go find it. And he's talking about Skunk Works, who thought it'd be a good idea to dig terrorist tunnels underneath his house. I've decided I'm going to think of them as terrorist tunnels from now on. Because that's what they look like. You see other people on YouTube building tunnels, and they look amazing. He did everything wrong. Oh, wow, this is from two years ago. I may have seen this already, but I'll give it a try. Hey, Brad, it's Aiko. Just wanted to thank you for getting me fired today. Why are you yelling at me? I was on the phone with a client, and I heard his wife in the background. During the call, I think of your show, and I quickly said, Could you please tell that wife of yours to shut the fuck up? And next thing I know, he called my manager. I got called into the CEO's office, Uh and they let me go. But the good news is I get to read your message, Roy. Woohoo! Thanks, Roy. All right, bye. Enjoy your unemployment. Brad. What? Jeremiah, aka Butthole Band out here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hey, I listen to you on Spotify, and I've been down with COVID, man, so I haven't been driving so I didn't realize this. And I get back to work today, and Spotify cut off your snowplow episodes at 5:37. What? Uh, so I am like a drug addict that just got his fix taken away. What are you talking about? I I had the website problems a few weeks ago, and I know they disappeared off of Spotify for maybe a day or two, but then they should have come back. Oh, and also there's some problems with the feed still. I've still got to fix the feed. It'll probably be fixed soon. But we need to figure out, um, I need to start doing something else, I guess. Uh, where else can oh, I listen wow. to those? I need to become more a member of the community, figure this out, because love everything you do, appreciate everything you do, Aww. and I definitely want to keep listening. Thank you. Um, anyway, sorry if the audio's bad. I drive for work, like I said, but uh, it's you amazing. Know, I'm going to keep calling, and guess what? I'll play whatever the fuck I want in do the it. background. All right. I love you, though. Never change. Never I change. I don't hear any of it. I love you, and thank you for everything you do for all of us. Thank you. And uh, Spotify, cut off your hobo or uh, snowplow episodes, 537 again. Just curious uh, what's going on. and uh, maybe I don't know what you mean by 537. I'm looking on Spotify right now, and I see the episode I did on October 26th. Hello, Nolan. You got me. Yeah. Oh, hey, Nolan. It's, uh, it's and when I press the button, it plays... James, <laughs> I found the same in everyone. That was the previous episode. It all like so you don't you can only go so far back. Is that the problem? Because I think I know what that'll be. I've just got to fix a bunch of links on snowplowshow.com. And if you want to listen to any of the shows that you can't find until then, there's a bunch of different archives. If you go to snowplowshow.com, let me type it in just to make sure I'm right. Slash archive. Yeah, that's the ticket. There's a year-by-year archive that I try to keep updated, but I know right now is probably not looking that great. But if you look on the bottom of that page, there are links to other places that the shows are archived. And that goes all the way back to show number one. So you can always find the Snowplow Show on all these archive pages. I'll try to get all that stuff fixed, though. Hey, Brad. Hey. Hey, it's Merrick. Hello. Um, I just want to let you know. I want to let you know a few things. Okay. So, first of all, I literally, I had sex while listening to your podcast. Wow. Just want to let you know that. I feel like that's something that you would want to know. No. Um, that's cool as fuck. TMI. Yeah, shit. Uh, thing two, I would like to make a song request for the end of the show. Okay. Um, I'd like you to play Butt Plug City by Rappy, me Rapperson. Okay. That song's actually crazy good. Uh, also, shout out Don Tony. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, shout out to Tony or something. 
But yeah, I'll try to remember to play Butt Plug City. In fact, you know what? I think I'm done with voicemails. I said I was going to keep it short today, and I'm going to keep it really short. Well, you know what? No, I'm going to play one more voicemail that is a short voicemail. And it looks like the first... And it looks like the first short voicemail we have is from Corbin Guy. Uh, hey, Brad. Hey, it's Corbin Guy. Oh, my God. How you doing? Yeah, hey. I'm alive. I'm not dead like Uncle Scott, and I'm trying to keep this under 30 seconds. But, oh, my God, eight, episode 822, uh, The Nightmare Machine. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, it's, thank it's you. It's just as good as calling up the neighbors and saying that your children have peanut butter allergies. Don't give them uh, candy, you know, uh. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hey, everybody, you're awesome. Okay, goodbye. Okay, thanks, Corbin guy. Good to hear from you. Uh, nobody else leave voicemails until I do another show this week, and that way I can catch up on them. But I know you guys will probably leave voicemails anyway, you freaking jerks. Thank you, Matt Chu, Christine, Cody No Name, ZTK, and Tokius Pocus for being supporters of the show. We're going to end the show today with a song by Rappy McRapperson by request from that one guy that had sex while listening to this show once. And he's really proud of that and wants to tell everybody this is Butt Plug City. One day I hopped on a Greyhound bus. Party time, baby. Las Vegas or bust. But I should have gone on a plane because my trip was totally insane. Oh, snaps. The bus broke down. We pulled over in a crazy town. I was walking around, it was really shitty. How did I get stuck in Butt Plug City? Oh snap! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City. Oh snap! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City. I went to a convenience store, but the name of it was Butt Plugs Galore, and they only sold butt plugs. Where's the cigarettes and soda pop? What the fudge? I walk down the sidewalk looking for the mayor. I've got a complaint that he's gonna hear. Walking down the street, people wore stained shorts. They all looked like they just hopped off a horse. I walked up to a street vendor. He had a beard. He was selling butt plugs. It was weird. A lot of his merchandise was shitty and used. I was upset and confused. Where's the mayor's office? What the hell? Shut up, dude. I've got butt plugs to sell. So I continued walking down the street. Dirty butt plugs were all around my feet. All this walking is making me thirsty. I need something to drink. Lord have mercy. I walked into a restaurant and saw the hostess. I need some water or else I'll get neurosis. She said, sorry, there's no water here, dude. But we've got gallons of butt plug juice. Butt plug juice won't quench my thirst. Butt plug city is the worst. Oh, snap! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City. Oh, snap! I'm walking around in Butt Plug City. Where's the mayor's office? I'm gonna complain. Butt Plug City is hella gay. I walked into City Hall. There was diarrhea smeared on the wall. Then I met the secretary. She introduced me to the mayor. His name was Larry. The mayor sat down. He said, oh, yeah. He probably had a butt plug in his underwear. He said, how do you like my town? How do you like how butt plug city folk get down? Cheers! Now expose your rear. You're the honorary citizen of the year. Oh, snaps! How did I get stuck in butt plug city? Oh, snaps! How did I get stuck in butt plug city? Good, look at your gay ass off my phone. phone, bitch.